I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with the control system setup that I'm going to be using. Now, this is obvious that it is for the Maytech flight controller, the H743, I believe. So, it's perfect little design. Love it. So it's going to work out good. But what I wanted to do was mitigate any vibration. Try to get away from some of the filtering I was going to have to do. So I made this to seat it in. And this is just TPU, but it's 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 rigid, but also spongy, which is perfect. I love TPU. This stuff is so cool. It's just spongy. It has an air loft in it. And the great part about it is, with this design, I've, I've designed it to where this will sit directly into here, like so. That's why the indent was there. Then the back of the case will go on the top over the Maytech once it get it installed. And all the wires run, so on and so forth. And then this, I'll move this aside real quick. This whole system actually sits right about there. That's the centralized portion of the drone. This is the front right here, main name tag, and on the rear I have, oh, I can, you can't see it on this side, I have the tail number from the FAA, but this is going to give me an opportunity to have, to mitigate some of that vibration that I might have to worry about trying to filter out, and it looks really good. Battery tray is in there, that will also have a TPU blocks on the underside of the roof of it if you can see that so the underside of this roof here that way the batteries slide in and they're kind of held in by that same airy material so that's what we're going for so everything's looking good so far she's coming together